Hello, welcome back to LEGO Racers. I'm TomTom94, and today we're going to be taking on Baron Von Stereotype. I mean, Baron. In the, you'll see there. We're on circuit number five. We'll bring back Wiz Shades for another run. And let's jump right in. Ah, so it is you. I, Baron Von Baron, shall race you. And I shall win. Hmm. Yeah, so there's an interesting story about Baron von Baron, if we get started, which is that his name is completely inconsistent in every appearance in LEGO Media that he makes. Not as in oh, he's changed name once, as in they still can't decide what he's going to be named and they've actually given up on having a consistent name. They've literally just given up on it. In his first appearances, which was in the Adventurer series, he was called Baron von Baron, as he is here. But then the next time he appeared in the Dino Island series, he was called Sam Sinister. Now there's another character in LEGO Racers called Sam Sinister, a guy on Battles of the Batlord circuit and Gypsy Moths. And in this reshuffle, he was known as Sly Boots. And this name change stuck for LEGO Racers 2, where a character who looks like Sam Sinister turns up and is called Sly Boots. But in that game, Baron von Baron turns up and is called Sam Sanister because somebody at the office couldn't spell. To make matters worse, in Lego Island 2, he is recalled Mr. Hates for at least two missions. So essentially, you've got four different names for this character, and then to make matters worse, he gets muddled up with another character who's completely irrelevant, although sometimes he's his assistant. Lego is complicated, and I'm not even a fan. I should point out, yes, that is foreshadowing. There was a Lego Racers 2. But we're not going to talk about that. What we are going to talk about right now is... I'm kind of in the lead, and it would do me good to bring up Baron von Baron's gimmick, so to speak. In terms of weaponry, he is a fan of the level 1 and level 2 shield. Which means, if he gets out in front of you, you're going to suffer, because you won't be able to hit him. Unfortunately, I would honestly say he's the only boss that's easier than his mirrored counterpart. Because as you see, we just destroyed him. <laughs> We're back on Ice Planet Pathway. <laughs> yes, this track is so much nicer when you're not having to race Veronica Voltage though. It really is. And on the subject of being quite negative, I feel like in the last episode I was somewhat negative on this game, particularly on some of the lazy design choices. And to be fair, that is quite harsh. I believe this game was rushed, which is one of the reasons why, for instance, the Nightmare Thon shortcut was cropped, which I touched upon in the um, in episode four. So that was a bit harsh, and I genuinely think this is a great game, in spite of one of the criticisms of it, which is that it's a little bit derivative, because it takes the circuit race concept from Mario Kart, and it takes the weapon system from Donkey Kong, although it adds in the white bricks, that's the only thing it changes. You know, there's just not a lot to it. Baron Von Brown actually got in front of us, which is interesting, he's mirroring King Gahooka's impressiveness. But no, I genuinely do love this game, and I think that actually mirroring the tracks was a fairly sensible design choice, because designing 12 new circuits and 12 new races was always going to be a challenge. So, you know, I'll, I'll let them off that one. Bollocks, I thought I was going to get that one. We are back to having a race on Ice Planet Pathway. Oh, you know how I said Baron Von Baron was the easier boss? When will I learn to stop saying things that aren't true? Hey guys, I can get a warp turbo boost every time! Come back here! Why did we catch him up? We had a strong, weaker turbo... never mind. Why am I complaining? So yeah, this game is genuinely pretty fun. And while we're at it, I'd also quite like to discuss the weapon system, thinking about it. And I think we're going to take the win if I can turn right. Yes! And once again, it's just me and the circuit champion. That was the, that's the slight problem with the mirrored tracks, is it becomes very, very difficult to get any of the AI, other AI races into play. I don't... No? I don't know what happened there. I don't think they crossed the line. 
So I would just like to talk about the weapon system, and I think it's a nice, simple way of doing things. I think it does work fairly well. I think there are just a few issues on balance. The major one being that the turbos are just a little too powerful. Um, especially the warp turbo, which as I say is completely broken. If you spam it, then you win it automatically. Which is why it's the way to win time races. The, the other power-ups are pretty good. I mean, you've got three basic ones that cancel each other out. The ones you drop behind you, the ones you f shoot in front of you, and the shields that block from both. And it tends to work fairly well. I mean, the higher level shields go on for a very long length of time. I th the top level shield is 10 seconds, and anything that uh, runs into that that's a projectile will get reflected back. And if an opponent runs into you, you'll spin out. So there's a plenty of good reasons to use the shield. You know, if you need to. Where uh, And then the red ones. The only issue with the red ones is you have to get all three power plus bricks to have something that will actively hunt down your opponent. Which can get a little bit frustrating because the cannonball aims in the direction of your opponent. But it doesn't take into account momentum. So sometimes it, it fires at a target that you've missed. I have, That happened to me with Basil the Batlord. Rather distressingly, it seems Baron from Baron is back to stupid AI. I don't know what they did with the AI from Circuit 2. I think they couldn't decide whether to make it uh, beatable or to try and get it closer to Basil the Batlord. And Royal King isn't anywhere up there either. That's distressing. Oh well. One thing to note, even though the circuit order is reversed, the order in which the races finish when it's when they don't finish, so to speak, is not. So the person who is Baron von Baron's closest counterpart is Archu, because they're both in the jungle. But Archu is still last on the pe pecking order for getting points, according to the circuit. So there you go. That's one thing that doesn't change. For whatever reason. Boom. I'm just going to be very careful with that shortcut there because, as I say, muscle memory tends to throw you off, particularly when it comes to leaving shortcuts, when you come out into the middle of the track and you sort of instinctively go left and then find yourself facing the wrong way in traffic. Be prepared for me to do that a lot on the next circuit, particularly on Alien Rally Asteroid. But then at least Alien Rally Asteroid is the first one, so that'll be out of the way then. Um, I'm not doing so well on Tribal Island Trail this time around. Uh, I don't quite know why. Probably good for Baron von Baron at least. No, can I get him? No. Oh, it would have been nice to catch him in a magnetic trap. The magnetic trap is surprisingly powerful. It essentially is the same as the alien on... Um, on Alien Rally Asteroid, I was thinking, oh, which track is it? Is it the one with the aliens, and, or is it the one in the desert? That's it. impressive stuff there from me. But yes, we are close to taking another clean sweep over Baron von Brackman, Sinister, Sanister, Hates, Boots. And this has been fairly simple. I mean, these circuits are what they are. And there we go. Wiz Shades has a, an unbeaten record so far. Which is good news. And second place is ours. Second place? What am I talking about? Forget I just said that. Yes, yes, we've unlocked a new car set. 4x4. Very similar to Johnny Thunder's. Thank you. And we've unlocked a new circuit. Who is entirely blue. Now, just before we go, I would just like to point out one thing. I know I was being somewhat facetious earlier when I said Baron Von Stereotype, but my word! Look at this! I can find him. Look at this! 
There he is. He, he's got a hook for a hand. He's got a monocle. He's got a scar. He's got a funny hat. He's... How could he be any more stereotypical? I don't I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's quite fun, you know, it's a kid's toy. But you know. He says, looking at the title screen with the blue alien. Well, this time, on the next episode, we shall tackle the alien menace, and I will see you then. <laughs>